Welcome to Guadeloupe, a captivating archipelago nestled in the heart of the Caribbean, where azure waters meet lush rainforests. Guadeloupe, which is a French overseas region, is an island group in the southern Caribbean Sea. Resembling a butterfly, its two largest islands are separated by the Salé River. Hilly Grantier Island has long beaches and sugarcane fields. On Bastère Island, Guadeloupe's national park encompasses Carbet Falls and the volcano La Grand Soufière. Whether you seek adventure, relaxation, or a taste of local flavors, Guadeloupe welcomes you with open arms to a world where paradise becomes a reality. Before we start this travel guide with the best things to do in Guadeloupe, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The Bassin Bleu is a breathtaking natural gem, a series of stunning turquoise pools surrounded by lush tropical forest. The pools are fed by cascading waterfalls, creating a refreshing oasis amidst the vibrant greenery. To reach Bassin Bleu, park your car on Chemin du Bassin Bleu. From there, it takes about 20 minutes by foot to reach the natural pools. Make sure to wear proper hiking shoes, since it requires a little bit of rock climbing to reach Bassin Bleu. Once you reach the pools, you get the chance to swim in crystal clear waters, providing a serene experience in the heart of Guadeloupe's rainforest. A Seabub excursion offers a unique way to explore Guadeloupe's coastal waters. The Seabub allows you to glide through the Caribbean waters with effortless speed and grace. Your tour guide will take you to the best spots to encounter local marine life, including sea turtles, colorful fishes, as well as squids, providing a unique perspective of Guadeloupe's coastal treasures. La Soufrière is an active volcano at an altitude of 1,467 meters, located in Basse-Terre. Hiking the volcano is a popular activity, since it does not only offer panoramic views of Guadeloupe's flourishing landscapes and the neighboring islands, but you will also get to enjoy a surreal view of the active crater. There are parking spots available near the Bain Jaune, which is located at an altitude of 950 meters. Make sure to arrive before 9 a.m., otherwise it could get difficult to find parking. From there, you cannot miss the hiking trail. There are several signs and most likely you will encounter a lot of other hikers. The hike can be divided into two parts. The first part winds through the rainforest and is relatively easy. The path is well maintained and rises steadily but not steeply. Once you reach a second parking lot, you will notice how the vegetation changes to smaller trees and bushes. This is where the second part of the hike begins. The second part of the hike is a lot more demanding. The trail does not only get steeper, but also less and less well-maintained. But the views will definitely get more stunning. Once you reach the top, the landscape changes again as you'll get to admire volcanic rock formations. 
There you can enjoy watching wisps of sulfur stream rise, a testament to the volcanic activity. The hike up the volcano took us about 2 hours and 45 minutes, including several water breaks and picture stops. The hike down was a lot faster. Once you get back to the Vin Jaune, which is a thermal spring, you can jump in and enjoy the warm water that reaches a pleasant temperature of around 28 degrees Celsius. However, avoid putting your head underwater and check the information board before taking a bath. Embarking on a snorkel excursion promises an immersive encounter with the mesmerizing underwater world of the Caribbean. We decided to do a sailing experience. But there are also motorboat excursions that will bring you to the snorkeling spots faster. Most excursions offer several snorkeling stops that allow you to swim with tropical fish and even explore a shipwreck. Since Guadeloupe is surrounded by several undersea mountains, you'll also get the chance to relax in knee-deep water far off the coast. Guadeloupe enjoys a tropical climate, characterized by warm temperatures throughout the year. The best time to visit is during the dry season, which typically extends from December to May, offering pleasant weather with lower humidity and minimal rainfall. Travelers should be aware of the hurricane season, which runs from June to November, with a higher risk of storms and rainfall during this period. The official language of Guadeloupe is French, as the island is an overseas department of France. French is used in government, education, and official communications. Additionally, Antillean Creole, a French-based Creole language, is widely spoken among the local population and is an essential part of the island's cultural identity. Guadeloupe uses the euro as its official currency. Travelers can easily use euros for transactions, and ATMs are readily available in major towns and cities. Guadeloupe has a well-connected bus system. Most bus routes start and end in the capital, Juan de Piz. Buses run regularly, providing an affordable and efficient way to explore the island. Taxis are also readily available particularly in urban areas and tourist hotspots, offering convenience for short trips. Renting a car is another popular option for those craving the freedom to explore at their own pace. In Guadeloupe, you drive on the right side and roads are in good conditions. Overall, it feels a lot like driving in France. If you would like to do some island hopping, you can also take a ferry. Ferries provide a scenic and enjoyable way to hop between the islands.